Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Prism Baseball. Six box, half case, pick your team number three, which is from a fresh case. Very big thanks to all of these people right here for getting into the action on Wednesday the 24th, hump day. Hump day! There we go, there we are. Kevin with that last spot mojo, Cardinals. Thanks everyone else for getting in as well. Here in Pick Your Team 3. Second half of the case is in the store. So, a little, little room here. This is Prison Baseball, right? Yeah, 2020 Prison Baseball. Let's not kill my camera here. All right, so so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six on the left side, and then we've got a, a set of six on the right side right here. We're gonna roll, select a die. Use that flamingo die right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's gonna be two. So we're gonna do that left side right here. This side, we will save for next time. So I've marked those PYT for pick your team. Trust me, that says PYT for pick your team. All right, now let's pop these guys open. Let's see what we have here. All right, so there it is. We're looking for tiger stripes. Three autographs per box on average. And it should be a lot of uh, fun parallel. The red-orange parallels, silvers are always popular. Thanks for picking your team. Second half is in the store. Let's keep chipping away at that. And good luck, everybody. Baseball's back, folks. Baseball is back. And there's a lot of crazy rules that are happening here. See if I can log into my account here. All right, so this is an article by Jason Stark of The Athletic. He used to write for ESPN. Uh, so here's the deal. Teams will play all 60 games only against their own division, 
and the corresponding interleague division. Those 16 games will be laid out this way. Every team will play 10 games apiece against each of the four other teams in their division for a total of 40 games. Those games will largely be broken down into three game and two game series. Then each club will play a total of 20 games against the corresponding interleague division. So East versus East, Central versus Central, West versus West, so on and so forth. Six of, the, six of those games will be against teams' interleague rivals. So Yankees, Mets, Cubs, White Sox, probably Dodgers, Angels, so on and so forth. The breakdown of the other 14 have yet to be finalized, but it's expected to involve each team playing two interleague opponents three times apiece and the other two times, two clubs four times apiece. I've got some more for you after I do this box. All right, box one, good luck. We got Jake Rogers. So veteran commons like that Michael Brantley won't ship, but silver, oh, that's a rookie too, but silvers will ship. Red, not numbered, so we'll breeze by those. And of course, all base rookie cards will still ship. Inserts, of course, will ship. And obviously the hits. Matt Carpenter, Red Wave to 99 will definitely ship. Inserts like that will ship. The blue, also not numbered, but they will ship. Mark Nao needs baseball to be back and a hot Acuna and Soto start. There's Anthony K to 99, and we've got Jonathan Daza. There you go, Colorado, Rockies, Joel with the Rocks. Forty-seven out of seventy-five. We got Mike Yastrzemski to one twenty-five, lime green. And we've got, there's my guy, Dustin May, snakeskin rookie autograph. Nice one for the Dodgers. Josh, Josh Coppler with the Dodgers. Sean Mercer is wondering what the best record will be in a 60-game season. I don't know. I, I mean, it's it's going to be weird. It's like we're I'm so used to baseball being a marathon. But when you're forcing teams to sprint, right, Who's who's the team capable of of that? I guess you're taught you got to think about streaky teams, all right? Teams that can just get blazing hot at any given time. I don't know, but remember the Nationals after 60 games. Everyone, I'm sure everyone who listens to talk radio has heard this point a zillion times. But the Nationals after 60 games were terrible. They had won like what 20 games across over the first 60 games and then they just went on a hot streak so it's going to be weird Marcus Simeon is 175 I mean how many players need like a month or two to really get into the group but who are or who are the hot starters like think about your fantasy baseball teams who hot who starts hot in the season there's Jake Rogers' rookie autograph. That's our third one for third autograph of the box. Stephen Waterfield gets has the Tigers, gets the Jake Rogers. There's Hunter Dozier to 35. And that'll be for Kansas City. That will be for Kevin. Kevin S. All right, going back to that Jason Stark article on The Athletic from today. For uh, easiest travel, the 10 NL East and AL East teams will never leave their time zone. So they will have by far the most manageable travel load. The Yankees and Mets, for instance, will play just four teams located more than 240 miles from New York. Rays, Blue Jays, Marlins, Braves. Hardest travel, NL West, 
and the AL West clubs will be forced to cover three time zones, West, Mountain, and Central. And while that's nothing new in a normal year, writes Jason Stark, it's a major travel challenge in a season like this, at least compared to the other four divisions. Easiest schedules? In such an aberrational year, this is tough to predict, but if we go off of last season's standings, the Twins and Indians will play just four teams that had a winning record last year. Hardest schedule, see above. Again, in an aberrational year, it's tough to predict. But going off of last season's standing, the Marlins, Orioles, and Blue Jays will play seven teams that had records of 500 or better last year. Let's not play two. Double headers was a big talk, but now they're talking about not doing double headers. So limit time, I'm paraphrasing now, but limit time people will have to stay at the stadium. There'll be no double headers. But as of now, the schedule is intended to form because the Players Union has the right to approve and propose changes to the schedule. So until that process is complete, no further details will be released as of Tuesday night. Teams we uh, surveyed hadn't even seen drafts of their own schedule, let alone final versions. We've got rule changes in the next box. When I'm opening up the next box, we'll go through some, some of the official rule changes. All right, so box two here in this pick your team. Nice Trevor Story snakeskin. These animal print patterns apparently have been, been pretty nice in the secondary market. We've got a nice Keston Hira to 25 for the Brewers. That's going to be for Anthony. And a Josh Naylor autograph for uh, Richard Zitterman and the Padres. Nice. Nice cracked ice, Keston, for Anthony, 11 out of 25. Top of the class, Bobby Wood Jr. Mike Trout, silver. That's for the Halos, that's gonna go to uh, Keith. Shinsu Chu, to 99. And we got a Don Mattingly autograph. Nice prism signatures going to Fred Williams and the Bronx Bombers. Not bad. Bo Bichette, 64. At 100, Bo Bichette going to Richard Z and the Blue Jays. Patrick Sandoval to 149, and we got Richie Martin. Orioles. Was he on the A's? That'll be for Josh and the O's. Tyler Glass now to 175. And Yadier Molina back there. All right, next box, rule changes. Ladies and gentlemen, baseball rule. This is an article from The Athletic by, uh, by Jason Stark. Universal DH, for at least the 2020 season and postseason, all teams will use the designated hitter, making the first time in history that pitchers won't hit at any point in a major league season. 
As of now, that is only for one year only. So the rules in 2021 will revert to the previous incarnation, meaning pitchers would bat in the National League next year, for now. That's subject to negotiation, and it's viewed as unlikely that pitchers will ever hit again in North American professional baseball, except under unusual circumstances. Extra innings. An experiment fueled by health and safety concerns. All extra inning games will now begin with a runner on second base until one team wins. Despite reports that some games could end in a tie, that's only for spring training, exhibition games only. The rule applies only to the regular season and would be dropped during the postseason. According to Baseball America's J.J. Cooper, after the minor leagues adapted this rule two years ago, the percentage of extra inning games decided in the first extra inning rose from 45% in 2016-17 to 73% in 2018-19. Shorter games. Positional players pitching. MLB will now reverse its new rule that would have allowed position players to pitch only in blowout games or in extra innings. They had that. I didn't realize they had that rule in place. The new rule for 2020 permits position players to pitch at any point in any game. It's also a suspended game rule. If a rain gets, uh, you know, those games that start and get rained out before the fifth inning. You won't be seeing any of those this year, Jason Sark says. Any games that start but then are halted by weather will now be considered suspended games, meaning they will be resumed at the point when they were stopped. The purpose of this rule is to avoid long weather delays in an era when public health officials advise having players to get at the ballpark for as little time as possible. Makes sense. All right. Next box. Dylan Cease Blue. We got Lime Green, Jake Fraley to 125. Anthony K, autograph, Blue Jays. Richard Zitterman with the Blue Jays. And we've got Shui Yamaguchi. Shun Yamaguchi, Toronto. That'll be for Richard and the Blue Jays. Jeff McNeil to 149, 51 out of 149. It's for the Mets, that'll be for Carol Williams. Jordan Alvarez, supposed to be a big name in the hobby this year. For the Astros, that'll be for Leonard. So as those rules go, Dodgers will be facing the Astros for a handful of games. Should be interesting. Josh Hader to 100 for the Brewers. Joey Gallo, Blue Mojo to 175. Justin Turner, upside down. AJ Puck, Rookie Silver. I do like, I like AJ Puck. I feel like he could be a really interesting. Joe M with the A's. Nice Rookie Silver. Steven Strasburg to 60. Illumination insert. Hey, Brian, what's going on? You're welcome. Kieber Ruiz, Will Smith, a couple of the Dodgers catchers right there. Tim Anderson to 75, 21 out of 50. Logan Webb for the Giants. That's Michael Armstrong. Yeah, I think there might be some more NT NBA on the horizon, Brian. Tim Anderson for the White Sox. Richard. I don't know when. Oh, so you just, 
Willie Castro. All right, next box. Yeah, no worries, Brian. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are waiting for those too. Of course, a little more NT basketball back on the shop. Good luck in future breaks. All right, other new wrinkles in the baseball season, according to Jason Stark, in the article on the in the Athletic today. Signings and transactions. All 30 teams have been working under a transaction freeze since March, preventing them from adding major league players. This freeze ends Friday at noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. my time. The 60-player pool with no minor league season to serve as a reservoir for extra players. All teams will carry a pool of 60 players, about half of whom will be part of a taxi squad assigned to uh, an alternate site not located at the team's home park. Teams will need to submit the names of those 60 players by Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon, West Coast time. Clubs can invite as many as all 60 of those players to their minor league, uh, to their major league spring training, training camp. But players not on the 40-man roster can also can be assigned to an alternate spring training site. All right, roster size. Teams will be allowed to carry 30 players on their big league roster for the first two weeks of the season. Then get that down to 28 on the 15th day of the season. Then down to 26 two weeks after that. The new rule that was supposed to limit the number of pitchers on a roster has been waived because of unusual circumstances of the season. And finally, the age of personalization. All hitters will now have to bring their own pine tar rags, bat donuts, and other equipment to, the, to and from the on-deck circle and will have to retrieve their own hats Gloves and sunglasses from the dugout if an inning ends with a, with them on base or batting. All pitchers will now have to bring their own rosin bags to the mound and use only and use only their own baseballs for bullpen sessions. And baseballs used in batting practice can be used only used that day. They need to be cleaned, sanitized, and not be reused for at least five days. So one thing is clear: teams are going to have thousands of baseballs in the old storage closet. So there you go. No, the, uh, well, according to this article, Brian, by Jason Stark in The Athletic, you can have rosin bags on the pitcher's mound, but it has to be yours. There'll be Brian's rosin bag that he takes to and from the mound, and then there'll be Joe's rosin bag that he takes to and from the mound. So there you go. Now, that was the whole Athletic article, so now you don't have to pay for it. Jonathan Hernandez, 12 out of 25. Rangers. So a lot of wild stuff that's going to be happening this season. Jonathan Hernandez for the Rangers. That'll be for Kevin S. So in a shortened season, who does that? What teams does that benefit? There's the 140. Will that will that benefit deep teams like my Dodgers? Or will that just benefit teams that are that 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 can just get hot? All right, behind Trevor Story is going to be Scooter Jeanette. Scooter Jeanette autograph for the... Is he... Scooter Jeanette's on the Giants? Michael Armstrong in the Giants. That's a good idea, Terrence Walton. Rosin bag relics inside products next year. I'm down. There's Trevor Story to 175. Rockies, that'll be for Joel. Brian read some of there. If managers or players don't abide by the six feet Social distance rule when arguing with an umpire could lead to fines and suspensions. Wow. It's Cody Bellinger, 99. Jeff says, with a short season, why not push up the World Baseball Classic? I don't know if they're eager to... Uh, I don't know if I'd be eager to have people from all over the world. Teams from all over the world come to the United States. Not until 
out of 60 Glaber Day. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. The World Baseball Classic. I mean, I guess we can quarantine all those teams for two weeks. Noah Syndergaard and Sean Murphy, 46 out of 75. Red Wave, Oakland A's, Joe M. Forty-six out of seventy-five. Noah Syndergaard. Yeah, not too many countries want us either. It's. I mean, it's the travel stuff is going to be is going to be. You know, it's going to be really interesting when uh, the U.S. Open tennis U.S. Open comes around. I think the USTA said it's going to it's going to happen. So that's going to be a lot of international players and their their staff. Their, their team coming into New York. You know, will there be tennis players who are like, yeah, I don't want to risk going to New York. You know, or are there other international players in higher risk areas, you know, around the world who are, who are like, eh, what have you been doing? <laughs> you see what you see what happened to, uh, to Jokovic? Jokic? Jokovic? Tennis player? He, uh, he, like, announced that he had tested positive for that. And he had just held, like, a like a tennis tournament in Serbia, like, two or three weeks ago without any social distancing. It was like a regular tournament. You know, it was like a normal tournament. And it was cool to see. It was fun to see. But I was like, hmm, we're a little close together. It turns out, like, one of his trainers had gotten it and then gave it to him and then... Yeah, now, now, now it's a thing. Right, and he was partying in clubs and blah, 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 so he wasn't taking it seriously, and now, now he got got. Guillermo, uh, yes, we still have, uh, well, there's no walk-in yet. We're actually remodeling the store. So we're, we're, we're kind of making some, some improvements on the inside. So once we get that squared away, then we'll have, uh, then we'll have it open to the public. But yeah, curbside is still available. Oh, his mom, Djokovic's mom is blaming another tennis player for her son's positive test. Not the, not the stupid tournament you put on. I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was the tennis player at that tournament he put on. Both can happen, mom. <laughs> There's Alex Kirilov, twins. EA with the Twins. He's a pretty good prospect. Well, either way, I mean, what's done is done. He has it. Tony Gonsolin to 60. Otani, Lorenzo, Kane. These are the red, red and orange parallels. They, of course, will ship. So yeah, how does that affect the Tennis U.S. Open in New York? I think he'll, I think he'll be healthy by then, but is like the USTA going to be monitoring Instagram accounts of tennis players? Like, what have you guys been doing? There's Jonathan Diaz to 35. And Tyler Alexander, 5 out of 25. Red orange autograph this time for uh, got the Tigers. Steven, Steven Waterfield with Detroit. Josh Bell and Impact. So it's going to be tricky. We'll see EPL. Just restarted. I know. I know the German league, the Bundesliga, has been going, but it seems like no major issues there yet. The EPL just started this week, in the last week. 
So we'll see how things go there. And then that kind of gets us into our team sports. Baseball, basketball, slowly trying to get started up. Hockey. And then we'll kind of take, I guess, <laughs> pun intended, we'll take the temperature again of everybody. There's Pete Alonzo. And then see if, if things keep proceeding. And we'll kind of go step by step. In the meantime, hopefully everyone just does their part and stays distant, keeps clean. Six out of ten. This is nice. Kevin S. Bobby Witt Jr. Yeah, that's the that's the irony, right, Brian? That that Novak Djokovic was like was complaining about all the all the protocols for the U.S. Open. Puts on his own tournament and then everyone gets it. Yeah. Whoops. I wonder what the what the legal ramifications of that is. There's Jonathan Daza. I don't know what what Serbian law is. You know, on that sort of thing, or how litigious they can be. There's Jonathan Daza. But I wonder I wonder if he could be like responsible for that. There's Bruce Dar Greaterall. Can't wait to see him pitch. Helps the Dodgers bullpen out a lot. That'll go to Josh. Yeah, all those, or, all these red orange parallels. I think there's one or two per case. We'll have these hot boxes here. All of those will ship, obviously. Oh, right, I guess his tournament has insurance. Yeah, that's true. There's Randy Arozarena to 50. I'm sure insurance will be happy to pay all that out. I think, I mean, there, there could be issues there. There's Arozarena for the Rays. We'll top load all those later. And Mauricio Dubon. One more box to go. Six box, pick your team three. Actually, I'm going to keep these here. I'll do an autograph recap at the end. All right. Final box, six box, pick your team three. Second half is in the store. Not sure if we're gonna have time to run that tonight, but like keep chipping away at it. I'm sure it'll get done in the next night or two. How's Cal California's been great, Rex? You've been doing well. Do I think there's more value on a red orange card? I don't know. There's kind of a lot of them. Maybe for maybe for the rookies, there may be uh, maybe for the rookies. If this was basketball, if this was prison basketball, then I think that it, it would have a it would have a significantly different value, but. Not sure that applies the same way as uh, as baseball. They'll all ship though, just like these silvers and reds. All right, Charlie Blackman to one seventy five. Oh, I saw CA. I thought you meant California, Rex. That I was that was a def, that was a not a joke. I seriously thought you meant California. Not clearly authentic. Clearly authentic has looked great. There's Bryce Harper to 75 instant impact. To 75, there's Sam Hilliard. 
That wasn't me trying to be trying to be obnoxious. It was definitely I read it as California. I was like, and I was in my head. I was like, that's kind of a broad statement. Uh, Joel with the Rockies. I'm sure. Like, I'll, I guess I'll speak for California. We're doing great. <laughs> Chris Sale, Joey Gallo. And we got stargazing Fernando Tatis Jr. to 100. Ooh, and are any guesses on this redemption? Yusai Kuchi to 35. We got a, a AJ Puck guess, a Bo Bichette guess. We got a nice stargazing Bo Bichette and a Donnie Walton, 10 out of 75 for the Mariners. Josh Melton with Walton. 10 out of 75. Nice stargazing Bo Bichette for Richard Zitterman and the Blue Jays. That's 25 out of 99. And nice Lorenzo Cain Tiger Stripe. These are relatively rare. That is for um, Anthony, who has the Brewers. Rex guessing Chris Godwin. And to 125, Sandy Alcantara. The redemption is going to be, bam, Jordan Alvarez, rookie autographs, red prism. Going to the Astros, that'll be for Leonard. That's a nice hit there. The pen. Is my pot? I could have sworn I had that pen right near me. Because it's right under my camera. All right, there you go. Nice way to finish things off. That was six box. Pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Quick little uh, autograph and tiger stripe recap. There, there's Bobby Witt Jr. to 10. And a bunch of nice other parallels in that stack that'll be sorted out and shipped to you, of course. Thanks, everyone, for watching and breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.